Welcome to my first Premier League season as QPR. This is it. This is where we want to be. This is always the best bit. I love this kind of, I guess, mid-series point where you're, you're on the cusp of creating something really great. I feel like the team we've built, it isn't perfect. I know that. But we've got some absolutely fantastic talents. And I think this first season, if I can get into that kind of I, I want to say the top 12, you know, I, I don't want to be aiming for just avoiding relegation. I want to be a mid-table club at least. And I think we can do that. So we've got Bournemouth, Arsenal, Villa, Brentford, Brighton, Burnley, Chelsea, Palace, Everton, Fulham, Leicester, Liverpool, Luton, Man City, Man United, Newcastle, Nottingham Forest, us, Spurs and West Ham. It's not going to be an easy season and I might be well off it. I'm, I might not be anywhere near top half, top 12. I might just about be able to avoid relegation. We're still using the gameplay mod, which has made things a little bit more tricky. There's going to be less goals conceded, less goals scored. Um, we'll see how we get on. Here is the squad. I'm using the 4-3-3 at the moment, although I was really enjoying three at the back. I just don't know if I'm prepared to do that in the Prem. We'll see. It does change my plans for bringing in players. If I'm playing three at the back, I need to bring in a new right wing back because Cannon is definitely better as a centre back than a right wing back, if that makes sense. I don't want him pushing all the way forward. He's a very defensive player, actually. Um, if I was to ask you who the fastest player in the squad is, you'd probably say Diaw, wouldn't you, with 88 pace? But actually, Cannon has 89. He is the fastest player in this squad. He's almost... Um, sorry, Koulibaly is almost there. 88 as well. Ridiculous for a centre-back. So, um, Cannon being such a pacey player, but lacking that shooting and passing, his crossing isn't great. He's just not as good on that right side um, when I'm playing with really far forward wing-backs. So, it does change my plans. Do I want to go three at the back? I just don't know. In terms of players that I'm looking to sell... Carius will be leaving. I think we can make a decent profit because, of course, we signed him for free. Um, I don't think there's anyone else that's definitely leaving. I, I kind of feel a little bit awkward about Oscar Bob. I mean, it was obviously a ridiculous deal. We managed to get him for three and a quarter million with the loan to buy. And I've always felt a little bit off about it because he, he is obviously a very good talent in real life. And I don't I don't see how that would have been possible. It, it isn't. But um, I prefer Elliot, which is mad. Elliot, 74 rated, youth academy player. He's better at dribbling. He's got a bit more physicality, um, but he's not as good as Bob in pretty much everything you want in a winger <laughs> other than dribbling. Um, physicality isn't as big of a deal, but when you, you just got pace, you just get in behind. But I think I would listen to offers for Bob. And I think a lot of people might actually be happy about that. Um, because he is a bit of a, a wild signing. So that would be a really good amount of money coming in. So I think I will transfer list him. Let, let's go through the entire squad here. So Carius has already submitted a transfer request. He was a crucial, he is a squad, a squad role of crucial. He's not playing, so he's obviously going to be upset about that. Anang will stay, and Cox is, of course, my main keeper. Um, I mean, if we go over to financial, we'll see prices here. So Doig absolutely incredible. John has a good backup as well. Kulabale, uh, Matriciani, Cabral, Cannon, Kyle Field, Irugbanam, De Silva, Jelovic, Rankin, Richards, Vale, Diaw, Bob. Add added to the transfer list. I'm not saying he will go, but I, I will lis listen to offers. Um, Elliot, Scarlett, Saka. So there's only, only two players that could be leaving. And you're probably wondering, how much money do we have? Well, £54 million. It's a good amount of money. And with Bob and Carius going, let's say I can get 12 to £15 million combined. I think we're looking at a healthy 65, 70, maybe £75 million if I'm lucky to bring some players in. So the most exciting part of every season, the window is open. I've done some looking around. I've already talked about Mumba, Zarauri, Amduni and Sharda. Three free agents that I found. Cook could be a very, very good player for us. I don't think he would start, but it's just getting a few squad players in there as well. I think he could be really good for us. We've got uh, Kina. I want to say it's Kina, Portuguese winger, 
free agent. And look at him. Very, very good stats. And we will need another winger at some point. And especially if Bob goes. And also, I found Correa, ex Lazio, ex Inter, I want to say. And we will also need a striker. And I think it'd be absolutely crazy to pass up on a player that offers something completely different to Scarlett and Sacco. Scarlett is definitely more of a number nine, but he's quite short. He's a bit more explosive. Sacco is a winger striker, so a little bit different there. Correa is definitely more of a, a bit more of a target man. The fact that he has got the, the height, um, but he's also really good with the ball at his feet. He's got good passing, good dribbling. So again, just maybe more of a creative outlet up front in the middle. And that means giving the ball to Diao. <laughs> so I'm quite tempted to get all three of these because free agents, you're mad not to, realistically. So I think what I'll do is I'll probably make them offers now because I don't want to lose them. Correa could go to most clubs. I would imagine he's in the high 70s. Um, Cook. I, I like Cook. Build-up player. Deep-lying playmaker. What I'm going to do is I'm going to delegate. And I'm willing to offer them, you know, 20, 30, that kind of number. I'm going to go 20 to 40. I think that's a good amount of money. Kina, I, I don't know if I'm saying that right. Domingos Quina, Kina, will also delegate to sign. And I'm going to go with 15 to 30 with him. I think that's a bit, a bit more realistic. Not Mumba, Correa. God, I, I really don't know how much he's going to cost. But I'd be willing to go to 20 to 40 again. So we'll send those off. The problem is we are now in the Premier League. So that means Premier League wages will be expected. And I've just seen his play styles. Oh my God, finesse shot, incisive pass, technical. He will give Scarlett a run for his money. The only downside is he's 30. Mumba, really want to get him. So I think he's going to be my first signing. We definitely need someone that can also play across the back line, left back, right back. He can also play in midfield. But most importantly, if I go to three at the back, he will be my right sided uh, full back, wing back, whatever you want to call it. Could I try and offer Carrius maybe? Try and get this a little bit cheaper. How much is he worth? 1.3. Would you take Carrius plus 4 million? What do you reckon? <laughs> And no, but they'll take 7.6. The tension's a little bit high there, so I'm just going to drop that down to 7. I think that's a fair price. All right, we could have maybe done a little bit better there, maybe 6.8, something like that. But to get that done, I'm quite happy. He is such a good player. Sunderland had him, right? And then did he go... Oh, where did he go? I think he went on loan somewhere, and now he's at Plymouth. I, I'm not really sure what's happened since Sunderland, but I remember using him in the Sunderland career mode, and I didn't... I didn't really use him much, but now, with his real face, much better potential, I think he could be really good. We'll try rotation, and he's happy with that. A five-year contract, also, that is, I'm very happy with that. We don't need a release clause, mate. Let's not be doing that. And, ooh, quite high wages. We are giving him triple, more than triple, what he's already on. I'm going to try 25, but I will give him 300 up front. Let's see if he's willing to accept that. No, he's not. Just do the 30 then. I'm wondering if I've underpaid the free agents then. My God, he really wants that 32 grand, doesn't he? All right. We'll do the deal. And Mumba is coming into, I think, the future of his career here. I think he'll make a name for himself. I reckon we'll go three at the back and have him running down that right wing, getting defensive, attacking, whatever. He can do it all. So welcome to QPR, Bali Mumba. Seven million is a little bit on the higher end. Maybe I could have done a little bit better there. That just isn't real. You think if I went in and offered 4.6, they would have accepted? There's absolutely no way. I don't believe that for a second. There is no chance. Now, up next, Zarauri. I would probably use him as a cam. And that would mean Richards or Vale come out of the team. I think I'm going to have a little think about it. What I'm going to do is, and you can watch me do it because I, I normally just build my systems out and then just show you. But instead, I'm going to show you um, the actual process instead of just showing you the end result. So I think I'm going to go with the three. Oh, that's tricky. Do I want Diao and Scarlet up front? 
Do I go three, four, two, one? This is a little bit of a tricky one. Because how do I get Elliot in the team if I don't have wingers? I think it has to be the three, four, two, one. But what I do typically is to get them in the same line, just to make sure they get the same instructions and it looks good. Um, I always go right to the edge of the pitch here. And then I guess left mid. And then again, it's just under the sleeve. I have massive OCD. Okay, don't don't be mad. <laughs> it has to be even, and I'm absolutely making sure it's the same either side. And then what I'm gonna do is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just so they're a little bit wider, and then we're gonna go one, two, three inside. One, two, three. So they're a little bit tighter. That I think is the way to go. So that would mean Elliot right wing. Scarlet up front. Let's just make sure they've got all their correct positions. Diao left wing. So Doig, I'm, I'm going to convert to left mid, but not actually convert, just so they've got the stats for it. And then Mumba, of course, will go there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Convert him to right mid and he will go up for sure. Uh, De Silva and Irugbanam, they are the players I'm going to be going with in midfield. I'm going to go in a bit, little bit more here. Just go like that. Um, Irugbanam is already being converted to centre mid. It's his shooting that really lets him down. And then, of course, we've got Cannon, Cabral, and Koulibaly, and then Cox in goal. The four Cs. <laughs> um, okay, so going on to the bench. Mat Matriziani, John, Field, Rankin, Vale, Bob, Sacco. See, this is mental. I've got Richards on the reserves, and he was better than Vale last year. So if anything, I should be doing that. That just doesn't, it doesn't feel right to me. And I'm definitely missing a winger, aren't I? If Bob goes, I need a winger. Okay, well, squad players, I'm sorry, Richard and Vale, Richards and Vale, you, one of you is going to have to be on the reserves, and I think it has to be Vale. When you compare them, Vale's definitely more of, I would say, a better playmaker. He does get in better positions to provide, but Richards was getting goals last season, and I prefer his um, physicality as well. He's a bit stronger. Okay, do I really need to go for Zarauri? Probably not. What is my weakest position? Hmm, I don't know. I did want to go for Sade again, but he doesn't get into the team at the moment with Diao and Scarlet up front. Hmm, okay. Let's continue and let's see if I can get any of those free agents in. And we've got an offer for Carius. I already had one, didn't I? So Carius could be going back to Germany with Union Berlin. I'll also accept the Almeria offer. It's a little bit less, but I, I will take it. Now, this is massive. Look at that. Doig to Arsenal. Blocked. Go away. No chance. Haven't heard anything regarding the free agents just yet. And that has not gone well. So they want 30. He wants 39.5 thousand. Didn't I go up to 35 with him? Or was it, was it 15 to 30? Okay. Oh. Where's Karius going? My bet is Union Berlin. I reckon that's where he's going. Yep, there you go. So we got the bigger price. Karius, by the way, wasn't bad at all. And we could have got... Two... <laughs> no! There's no way! But um, Cox is just better. He's, he's for the future. So well done to Karius for helping us for one season. And that means Cox is promoted. He will get the number one shirt. And by the way, look at the new kit. New goalkeeper kit looking fly. And then there is the new home kit. Quite similar, but there is more. Um, it looks kind of like the French fl uh, Netherlands flag, doesn't it? <laughs> um, I really like it. Great job again, Bane. Thank you so much for helping me. We had some problems with these kits, though. It took us a little bit of time to get it right. So Cook has accepted 39.5. Is he worth it? I think he probably is. I'm going to take him. He's going to be worth at least four, five, six million, something like that. And he's free. So it'd be absolutely crazy not to do it. Premier League experience. And it's, of course, an A rating because he's free. He's worth five million. Do you know what? I'm really happy with that. He's not the fastest, but what he does provide is, like I said before, that deep lying playmaking role. Um, haven't heard back from Correa just yet, and I won't be able to make an offer for Kenya again just yet either. 
Koulibaly transfer offer. Whoa! Monza are prepared to buy him for 33.3 million. That is another block. No chance. Okay, so that's two players in. I think Cook will be really good. Uh, PSV, 8.6 million for Elliot. Nope, that is also a block. Not even interested. I'm surprised I haven't had an offer come in for Oscar Bob yet. And Correa's accepted, 38.5. Ooh, it's it's quite a lot, but it's not exactly a gamble, is it, when it's a free agent? Worst case, I sell him. I'm taking him. Welcome. Little bit of a step down in his career, but you know what? Maybe he's always wanted to play in the Prem and he's willing to take on a challenge. And that challenge happens to be keep QPR in the league. I don't know if he's going to get ahead of Scarlett, but what I do know is we need quality players. He's 78 rated. He might be 79 because it bugs out here. He's worth 7 million. I mean, that's a ridiculous deal. And again, it's experience. I've signed Cook and Correa, 28 and 30. Right, we can find out more information on Keener now. So he's 75. Ooh, I definitely went in a bit low, didn't I? I think he would be quite a nice little signing. So Correa's 76. What? Oh, I know what's happened here. I know exactly what's happened here. He was a centre forward and I changed him to striker. So he's gone down in rating, but his stats are the same. So you can ignore that. It's because he was a centre forward slash cam. And I, you know me, I like to have their positions where I actually play them. So he's gone down in rating because of that. But of course, he goes in ahead of Sacco. And already we're starting to fill out the reserves a little bit here. Um, I think Cook comes on ahead of Rankin. So we are missing a winger. We really are. I'll get Kenya. I think he's the one. And I'm really happy with that Cook deal. Nice all-rounder. Offers something different. And um, was free. <laughs> free signings. You just can't complain. We do have a pre-season tournament. We are going to go with the 3.9 million one. We've got Osasuna, Sassuolo, Frankfurt. I mean, should be okay. Should be doable. We've got two emails as well. Off the withdrawn. Oh, I really wanted to manage Northern Ireland. What a shame. The silver offer, no chance. He was the best midfielder, if not the best player in the league last year, along with Diaw. No, no chance. Although we didn't even win the league in the end. So maybe um, maybe some of the other players were better. Offer for Sacco. Again, I'm blocking any offers for players that I'm, I just have no interest in selling. There's no point. But why haven't I had an offer for Bob? It's a little bit concerning, that. All right, let's give some debuts. Correa comes in. Cook comes in. Mumba starts. And I kind of want to get Kyle into the team, but with Mumba coming in, that's difficult. I, I like Kyle. He reminds me of Ben White. Um, okay, we'll go with that. And let's quick sim against Frankfurt. We've lost 4-2. Correa, though. Double. A double for Correa on his debut. Interesting. I mean, I, I don't think he's going to be better than Scarlett. He's just different. But he's he's going to offer me something that I just don't have with Scarlett. And that is that aerial presence. And Scarlett's passing is woeful. Trying to do intricate passes in the box with him doesn't really work. Uh, let's go with Vale on the left. Bob on the right. Uh, Matriziani and um, Richards. Because we're not going to win this preseason tournament. So I'd rather just get some some minutes into some players' legs. And that is a good result, actually. Diaz won it for us. We've had three yellow cards as well. That's rare. I don't think you really get that many yellow cards when simming. I seem to get more reds than yellows. I don't know if that's just me. Don't forget to use substitutes. I mean, if my um, assistant manager wants to do that, go for it. Monza up next. They really wanted Koulibaly and we said no. Are they angry at me? Let's find out. Uh, let's put Field in defence. That's not a problem. Uh, De Silva can come out for Jelovic. And let's go Sacco Correa. Just again, switching it up a little bit. And we've lost 2-1. Trossard. Wow. Interesting signing. So that's the pre-season tournament done. Still need to make an offer for Kenya. And by the way, let me know what you think about these kind of uncut videos where I'm just playing the game. This is what I'd be doing. 
if I wasn't recording. Just getting through the season. The start of the season, I mean. So, can we make an offer now? We can. Should I look at his stats a little bit more in depth? I'm not particularly pleased about that 37 strength. But do you know what? And the lack of pace, really. I thought he'd be quicker than that. He's just a good option, though, isn't he? Maybe he'd be better as a cam as well. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to take him. 6.5 million market value for free. I mean, it would be silly not to. Recommended wage of 44.5. That's insane. I'll try and get him on rotation, but that's not going to happen. He wants important. I mean, I am doing this just to cover, really. He's not an important player for me. Four years, that's fine. Don't need a release clause. Wait, and now he's willing to do 34? 34 and a half? How does that make any sense? He he rejected that kind of money before. <laughs> or did he? Did I go to 30? It might have been 30, to be fair to him. Right, well, there's another signing, guys. I know it's another free agent and it's not the most exciting, but honestly, they're my favourite deals. You just don't know what you're going to get in the free agents. It, it feels like if you're in the UK, and I think other countries have, the, have it as well, but like, you know, TK Maxx, that shop where you just go in and there's different stock every time. It's kind of like a lucky dip. I'm going in the free agents thinking, right, this position, search, and finding players like him. I love it. It's great fun. So with him coming in, I feel much, much more calm about my options on the reserves attacking-wise. Um, I think, actually, I'm, I'm going to sell Bob. I think I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm getting a gut feeling that he shouldn't be here. He should be starting. That's the thing, and I'm not starting him. So I will sell Bob and bring in a winger. I, I don't know who. And I don't think I need Zarari now. I think Kenya does that role. Not as well, but maybe in the future we go back in for Zarari. The problem is, where would Zarari play here? He just wouldn't. Diaw is my best player, arguably. Scarlett, Elliot. I mean, oh, De Silva's 80 now. Wow. This left side, look at that. Three 80-rated players for a newly promoted side. That is pretty ridiculous, isn't it? We've got the Brighton game coming up. Still no offers coming in from for Bob. And that is an, an email from him or a message from him. He wants to play. I'll think about it. It's crazy, isn't it? Like Oscar Bob. I don't want him now. It's crazy how that's just kind of happened. But anyway, it is going to be the first game of the season at the start of the next episode. I hope you're excited to see all of these players joining. I hope you've enjoyed the transfer window so far. And I will see you tomorrow for the first game.